We get the best of both worlds. The fastest reflexes modern technology has to offer onboard computer-assisted memory and a lifetime of on-the-street law enforcement programming. It is my great pleasure to present to you... Robocop. This guy is really good. He's not a guy, he's a machine. Old Detroit has a cancer. Cancer is crime. Let the woman go. You are under arrest. You, you better back up, pal! Your move, creep. What are your prime directives? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. What is this shit? Anything you say may be used against you. He's a cyborg, you idiot. You recorded every word you said. You're dead. We killed you. His memory is admissible as evidence. You're going to have to kill it. Get out of the car, for God's sake! <laughs> Robocop, the future of law enforcement. He is John Clayton, the Earl of Greystoke. I'm Nigel Ravens, scholar and explorer. I shall uncover the ruins of the world's oldest civilization. Here. Opa is a sacred temple, and I will do everything in my power to help them. Now he must return to the land he loves. We'll be embarking on the greatest adventure of our time. Jane March. Welcome to the 20th century. Tarzan and the Lost City. Everything in Tammy's life is just great. But when you're young and in love, life can get very complicated. Especially when it involves an insanely jealous creep. That's my lady, all right? Oh, God, man, I do. Late night phone calls. I want you to come over. Yes! Sneaking around in your own house. Do you lock the door? Don't worry. Your boyfriend getting dumped in a wild animal park. And a crazy doctor. Well, that's it. Who turns out to be a mad scientist. I mean, if you're going to make an omelet, you have to break a few eggs, right? <laughs> With an insane invention that only needs a brain. But this Tyrannosaurus Rex just wants to be a party animal. <laughs> Even when you tell the truth, nobody believes it anymore. It was a dinosaur. What? It's more than a machine with a brain. I mean, it is a machine with feelings. We are on the brink of something special. <laughs> we are going to be immortalized. Is that really you in there? Oh, Michael, what have they done to you? You poor thing, you gone crazy. Byron, I am not going crazy. This is just a little hard to explain. That's that boy dinosaur! We found the dinosaur, Sheriff. It's in a truck uh, being driven by your back uh, by your son. Byron? Uh, yes, sir. You see a couple of folks back in the hospital. They, they say he stole it. Stole what? The dinosaur. Oh, jeez. That is my dinosaur that you are threatening. I made him and he's mine. Uh, what are we gonna do? I will give you. Immortality! Not if Tammy has anything to say about it. Tammy and the T-Rex. Hey! Hey! 
You know, I'm, I'm really glad we decided not to sleep together before the wedding. Oh, boy, me too. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, if we had a, a big fight mm -hmm. and uh, we broke up for a few hours, yeah. technically, we could have sex again. <laughs> what do you think, bossy and domineering? The wedding is off, sloppy and immature. That's me, come on. <laughs> oh, I can't. My cousin Cassie's in the guest room. We're supposed to have lunch. Well, get rid of her, obsessive and shrill. Shrill? The wedding is back on. Oh, I thought I heard voices. You must be Chandler. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Say, so ready to go? Yeah. I'll be right with you. <laughs> What's your reading on a first and second order G levels? G levels are right on. TD, we confirm Drummond's readings and they're all normal. We're go. Copy that dynamics. I think we're okay, but we'll let him finish. Mechanical, you still okay? Roger, TD. Right on the hunt. We got a security problem here. Ellie, are you sure? Yeah, this guy, he shouldn't be there. I know him. Jerry, execute the rapid shutdown sequence. We'll Security, move the emergency power, response team into position one. Get me drummed on a secure loop, please. Power master power. Got him. Off. David, can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Right, we've got a security breach here. Right behind you, the tall guy, the technician. See him? Ring drive power is off. He's not supposed to be there. David, he's got something in his hand. Hey! Take him! Security breach! A bomb. He's got a bomb. He's got a bomb. I want that emergency response team up on the gas right now. Security stage one alert. Firecom, move all fire and rescue personnel to position one. Evacuate the pad. time for that big operation this may be the most important decision of your life so come down and talk to one of our qualified surgeons here at the family heart center we feature the complete jarvik line series 7 sports heart by jensen yamaha you pick the heart extended warranties financing qualifies for health tax credit and remember we care Is my penis. This 
disappeared as a moral dilemma Cause at first it was weird Though I swore to eliminate the worst of the plague That devoured humanity It's true, I was vague on the how So how can it be that you Have shown me the light? It's a brand new day And the sun is high All the birds are singing That you're gonna die How I hesitated Now I wonder why It's a brand new day all the times that you beat me unconscious, I forgive All the crimes incomplete, listen, honestly, I'll live Mr. Cool, Mr. Right, Mr. Know-it-all is through Now the future's so bright and I owe it all to you Who showed me the light It's a brand new me, I got no remorse Now the water's rising, but I know the course I'm gonna shock the world, gonna show that horse It's a brand new day And Penny will see the evil me, not a joke not a dork, not a failure And she may cry but her tears will dry When I hand her the keys to a shiny new Australia It's a brand new day, yeah the sun is high All the angels sing because you're gonna die Go ahead and laugh, yeah I'm a funny guy Tell everyone goodbye It's a brand new day! Dude, I have no idea where we are. What? Is that a hitchhiker? What the hell? Should we pick him up? And get chopped to bits? Are you crazy? Hey, you know what? We're lost. He may know how to get back on the highway. Get back on the road! This is my car and we are not picking up a hitchhiker, man! Hey guys, thanks for picking me up. Oh, oh. Oh. Excuse me, are you Neil Patrick Harris? Yep. Oh. oh my god, what are you doing Holy here? Holy shit. Dude, Doogie Howser MD was like my favorite truck growing up. You were my idol. Yeah, that's great. Can we get going? I'm bored as shit back here. Go, go. Let's go. It's a freaking boring spot. So, uh, so I gotta ask you, Neil, uh, did you ever get it on with Wando off the set? Dude, I humped every piece of ass ever on that show. Even the chick who played the hot nurse? No. I didn't go all the way with her. Neil, you wouldn't happen to know how to get on the highway from here, would you? Dude, I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. I was at this party earlier tonight, and some guy hooked me up with this incredible ex, and next thing I know, I'm being thrown out of a moving car. I've been tripping balls ever since. That's crazy, dude. You know, we've been having a pretty crazy night, too. We've just been driving around looking for White Castle, but we keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, dude, you fascinate me. Forget White Castle, let's go get some pussy. Huh? It's a fucking sausage fest in here, bros. Let's get us some poontang, then we'll go to White Castle. No, Neil, you don't understand. We've been craving these burgers all night. Yeah, I've been craving burgers too. Fur burgers? Come on, dudes, let's pick up some trim at a strip club. The Doogie line always works on strippers. Lap dance. There's a, uh, there's a gas station. I'm gonna see if we can get directions. La we don't need to. Oh hurry up, dudes, hurry up. I'm losing wood. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, chill. Um, we'll be right back, Neil. Yeah. We'll be back. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. You crossed my line of death. You haven't dismantled your MX stockpile. Pakistan is threatening my border. That's it, Buster. No more military aid. <laughs> Nuka. Get them before they get you. Another quality home game from Butler Brothers. It's back. Big is back, because bigger is better. 6,000 SUX, an American tradition. The man never gets a break. That's the thing. No, he said rich getting himself killed. Oh, keep talking out. Some brother. Shit. Hey! Mr. Hadley. Do you trust your wife? Oh, that's funny. You're gonna look funnier sucking my dick with no teeth. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? That's it. 
Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. You don't push him off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 What did you say? 35000 35000 All of it. All of it? Every penny. You better start making sense. If you want to keep all that money, give it to your wife. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Bullshit. Tax-free? Tax-free. IRS can't touch one cent. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Why should I believe a smart banker like you? So I can end up in here with you? It's perfectly legal. Go ask the IRS. They'll say the same thing. Actually, I feel stupid telling you this. I'm sure you would have investigated the matter yourself. Yeah, fucking A. I don't need no smart wife-killing banker to tell me where the bear's sitting in the buckwheat. Of course not. But you do need someone to set up the tax-free gift for you. And that'll cost you. A lawyer, for example. Bunch of ball-washing bastards. Right. I suppose I could set it up for you. That would save you some money. If you get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> co-workers? Get him. That's rich, ain't it? I think a man working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. It's only my opinion. Sir. What are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work! Let's go work! And that's how it came to pass that on the second to last day of the job, the convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof in the spring of 49 wound up sitting in a row at 10 o'clock in the morning, drinking icy cold Bohemia style beer, courtesy of the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Drink up while it's cold, ladies. The colossal prick even managed to sound magnanimous. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Holy shit. Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. You wanna see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Well, they're fucked up. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Goddamn fucking pigeons! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh shit! We had it! Fuck! I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn me. Leave me alone, this maybe fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck are you doing here? Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> you got the job! <laughs> no, that cost me $24.95! No, not me toaster! That cost me thirty-two fifty. Sixty-two sixty-seven. Four. Well, actually, that one was a gift. Ah, the sweet smell of an all-day sucker. Get away, barbarian! What have you done? Nice clean money, soiled. Money talks. Money, money, I got money, 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 I got. 
Cha-ching, 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 Gary. Money, oh money, how I love thee. Cha-ching, cha-chong, cha-chang, Guru. Oh, From hey. pennies to dollars, any amount to do. I don't care about the children. came by just to pick up some clothes or... Oh. oh. security. No embarrassing alarm noise. No need to trouble the police. And it won't even run down your battery. Magnavolt. Lethal, Lethal response. response. Ready for the opening pitch now. Wines and fires determined. He swung out and missed and we're underway. threw the ball down the third. I guess he felt Wilcox didn't get enough infield practice. Anyway, Shoop ready again. Winds and comes to Termini. High, oh. and the count is even at one and one. Son, you throw that ball down there again. With nobody on, you're going to make me very unhappy. The tulip place, bra has ruffled underwired cups, creating a curvier you for evening's bare neck lines. Woo! Yeah! Woo! So Baker finally gets one back to the pitcher. 
Matching crotchless panties are also available. Over our nation in ever-increasing number by the mighty birds of the Army Air Corps, vigilant guardians of American freedom. And today, when all the world is looking skyward, thousands of young men from every walk of life join in the great adventure as flying cadets in the United States Army Air Corps. The Cal Aero Field, one of the many preliminary training centers throughout the country for the Army's flying cadets. Up we go into the wild sky, young men, keep the wings level and true. If you live to be a great head wonder, meet the nose out of the blue. like I'm back in the movies again, don't I? Well, as a matter of fact, I like to do some talking. Just don't go away until I get this thing off. Now, it isn't as if it was a chore for me to talk to you because I want to speak on my favorite subject, the Army Air Forces. I can't speak from long experience. I've only been in the service a year, but I've learned a lot about what the Air Forces have to offer. That's what I want to talk to you about. Right now, the greatest mass mobilization in the history of the world is taking place. Men from cities, towns, farms, married men and single men, brothers, sweethearts, husbands, fathers and sons, businessmen and workers from the factories, and students from colleges and high schools all over America. They're mobilizing, joining up, or having their numbers pulled out of a fishbowl. And this war we're fighting today and tomorrow and the next day until we win is a war of the air. And the whole world knows that. Our factories know that. So interceptors, pursuit ships, light bombers, medium bombers, and flying fortresses are rolling out of those factories. 65,000 fighting planes this year. 100,000 fighting planes next year. And to keep them flying, two million men. Now, now that's where you come in.